Sam go? Call me Anita. Hi, I'm Graham Byron, nurse from the County Health Department. I'm here to do the child safety inspection request. How are you doing today? I'm fine. Let's get started. My soap operas are about to start. Okay. First, I'd like to ask you a few questions. Can you tell me when this home was built? My husband built it way back, like 1950 or something. Why? Okay. The house was built in that time frame. May have lead paint. We should make sure you do not have uh, lead paint issues. It can be hazardous to if the paint chips are invested by children. Well, my children were raised here, and they're still alive. Well, that's a good, that's a good sign, but we should probably have a uh, lead testing performed. Well, let's get going. We'll walk through your home and talk about issues as we go. We should watch out for trip and tip hazards. They can be items on the floor, rug wrinkles, or objects that can be pulled over by a child, like lamps and fans. I see you have a dog. Is he friendly? Oh, that's Royer. He's harmless. He barely gets off that bed. He's too old to harm a fly. It's always important to monitor children and pet interaction. Children sometimes can provoke or scare otherwise friendly pets into fighting. Are those your cigarettes? Well, it's best not to smoke around children. Secondhand smoke has been proven to cause harm to others. What about the wine? I keep it out to take my meds. I hear it helps the heart. Okay. Uh, wine with meds is another issue we'll talk about later, but it's a good idea to keep alcohol products out of the reach of children. Fireplace uh, could be a fire or burn risk for the child. It would be a good idea to have, the, have doors or a screen put in front of the fireplace. Uh, do you have any smoke or CO2 detectors? These items should be installed for your safety. Hmm, a CO2 detector. Whatever you say. I can get you information um, about someone to help you install these devices. Let's keep moving. I never thought, I never of, that. thought of that. Those things weren't around when I had kids. Young children may eat or drink anything they can get their hands on. It's advisable to put uh, cabinet and drawer latches on any cabinets. Leftover food and garbage will also be inaccessible. The stove is particularly dangerous for burns and from touching and spilling heated objects. With small children, all in the back burners should be used and turn the handles of the pot towards the back of the stove. Treating chemicals in buckets of water can also be dangerous to the young child. This is a lot of information. I hope I can remember it all. I'll give you a copy of this one when I'm finished today. Can we move upstairs? The stairway should have this uh, railing prepared and should be clear of trip hazards. Cap hazards sorry. Uh, child gates at both ends of the stairway would be recommended for young children. 
I've been meaning to get those stairs fixed. That little Brittany, she's only three, and she loves to climb on the stairs. I call her my mini monkey. I've seen Brittany chucking around on this sometimes. She certainly likes it. I probably should have a gate at the top of these stairs. That's a good idea. Again, cleaning chemicals should be inaccessible to children. Also, sharp items like furniture corners, scissors, knives, and pencils can be dangerous if a child falls against them while running on planes. That laundry detergent? I thought I put it away. Hmm. I seem to forget things sometimes. Well, there's only one lawn or one room left up here. I guess it's the bathroom. Electricity and water can be a dangerous mix. Electrical items should be moved away from the sinks, wet areas, or bathtubs. Standing water in buckets, tubs, and toilets can be a drowning hazard for a young child. Also, the hot water temperature should not exceed 120 degrees for child safety and for your safety, too. Again, medicine and chemicals must stay out of the child's reach. It's a good idea to put these items in a secure medical or medicine cabinet. Hmm. Well, I thought I drained the tub when I was done this morning. I suppose it's my forgetfulness again. But I should get in the habit of putting things away, especially my medicine. Always uh, monitor young child's activities indoors and outdoors. They quickly put themselves in harm's way. Always have emergency and poison center phone numbers near the phone. Need to I think we've gone through a lot of information today. And I'll get a copy of it all for you so that you can be more prepared when your young granddaughter comes to your home. Graham, you're sweet as a pickle and very helpful. Thank you. Now, Graham was helpful 